welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In the planning poker, we try to reach the consensus in a slightly different way than voting. So here, there are estimators who are the members of the team. And this would also include the developers and testers. These estimators are handled a deck of cards with some predefined and agreed set of numbers and more usually the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. The product owner comes and reads the story and there is a short discussion about the story in the team. Each estimator then assigns the weight or vote the story with his preferred card. If he or she thinks that the story is important than other relatively, then he may select the card of higher number. And if he thinks that the story is relatively less important than other stories, he will assign a lower score card to that particular story. All the participants in the planning poker or say all the estimators turn the card at the same time so that actual view of the participants can be known. If all the estimators have a same say or suppose if all the estimators select the same number card, we will close the discussion for that particular user story or the particular item on the backlog. But in case of any differences, the team discusses and try to reach the consensus for the weight of that story. Let's see a simple example to understand the planning poker method. Suppose the product owner comes and reads the story and the team along with the owner and facilitator discuss about the story and suppose in the first round they hold up 2, 3, 6 and 8. Okay, suppose the guy assigning the 8 says that he is a developer and this requires a new framework to build and he requires a lot of time. The person assigning the card number 2 may say that he had programmed the software before with a similar framework and it's not that hard. He may be ready to come up but not to the level of 8. All people hear the discussion and put their views at will. Suppose on the second shuffle or on the second round, all people came up with the 5 and one came up with the 8. The person with the 8 suppose gave some good reason why he thinks the story will be harder to be developed through a product. He says that he thinks it will take more time because he realized that there is uncertainty and there is a need for more testing. Okay, suppose in the next round, all agreed upon the 5 and the story was closed, assigning it the importance rank of 5. We can close the talk at 5 as there is no big difference between 5 and 8. But the decision has to be done unanimously. But let's suppose a special case here. One person came up with a different figure, say suppose 55. So what to do in that case? There could be two things responsible for it technical uncertainty and product uncertainty. Technical uncertainty when the team is not sure which approach of development would be easier or better and product uncertainty when the team is not sure how the end user would react. So in this case, it is wise to put the story aside and discuss until the uncertainty is resolved or we use the range as estimate. The discussion can better be started as one member who thinks the particular user story is scores a 2 or say the smallest assignable value, the other team members may argue and then they could reach to some consensus. Even if there are minor differences in the selection of the cards by the team, it's okay if they can reach the consensus. So this is all about the planning poker. I hope it was fun and I hope you must have understood about the planning poker. Thank you so much.
Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.